Yo, outside the nation, we back, baby. Let me tell you something. Get Doctor Newton. <laughs> man, outside the nation, man, we back with another fire video for you guys, man. So on the last video, if you guys didn't tell, up there on the screen, we got the tabletop review of the Sig P320 uh, compact uh, on the last video. And uh, man, I got something else for you guys that I want to kind of disclose to you guys. Should I? Should I? Should I give y'all a preview? No. So I'm going to let y'all see real briefly. Uh oh, that looks something look different. Something looks different. So yeah, man. So. Y'all gotta stay tuned for the next video to see what I did. I did actually did some upgrades, man. But yeah, man, today, man, we are on another adventure, man. For this next video, we actually are going to go by Sportsman Warehouse today because um, they have this program where they buy you buy and sell used guns. And I got, <clears throat> excuse me, I got one firearm that I purchased, you know, about five, six years ago that I literally don't use, like, I've shot, I probably put like 300 rounds through it, but it's just, I don't know, man, I just, I don't know, man. It's not my favorite gun to carry, so, but, uh, yeah, man, so it's a Taurus. So, yeah, guys, yeah, man, I'm actually going to be looking to get rid of this bad boy right here. It's the uh, Taurus TH9C. Came back, came out a while ago, uh, so, if you guys can see it in all its glory. I'm a stiffler for keeping original packaging, so I keep everything pretty much original. I still don't know what was in that space. I don't know. But uh, yeah, it came uh, obviously with the firearm itself. Came with a speed loader. Um, uh, what, how many rounds is that? A 13 round flush mag. And then this one was a 17 round extension, extended mag. So yeah, man, um, I mean, it was a sweet little gun, man. I had my fun with it, man. Uh, Go ahead and safety check it, you know, for everybody out there. Obviously, nothing in the chamber. Yeah, man, so it was a C. I'm excuse me. Damn. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, bro. I done came a Sig boy, man. It can't, can't change it up, man. So we got an empty clip right here. So the Taurus TH9C. This how I look with the um, 17 round mag extension. I thought it looked pretty cool, man. I wanted to see I wanted to get the all black variant of it, but I went to Academy and when I went to go purchase this gun years back, uh, they had I think they had it for around I think this was like right when it first came out. I think it was like 380 or something like that, but they price matched well one of the gun shops that had it for like 350 and then they gave me like a 10% discount off of it. But I got out the door with this this with this gun for about 330. Uh, so and here I look with the flush mag. I hate it with the flush mag. I just didn't I mean It's it don't look that bad now. I'm looking at it on camera, but I don't know man. I don't know uh, Yeah, man, it just Granted like I said, I got this firearm. This is around the time when I really this is on my this is my second Firearm that I purchased actually so I was still new to the gun game really didn't know much about stuff in regards to firearms and things of that nature but you know it's pretty standard um it is uh you can sing it la la you can shoot it single action and double action as well but the fucking trigger the trigger pull on this is terrible like look at it like that's and the reset all the way back for it terrible bro like yeah so I mean, that's not the reason why I want to get rid of this firearm. I just want to get rid of it because I just don't use it. Like, I don't care for it as much to keep it in my collection. Um, so, yeah, man, I'm going to see if I can get rid of it, man. So, I'm going to check out Sportsman Warehouse today to see what they got going on in regards to, like, their buy and sell program. I know that gun don't have much value. I mean, I know it got some value, but even if I could just get it and get, like, a uh, gift card to the store to use to... Uh, spend it on like a red dot for instance uh, <laughs> or it actually even towards another purchase man so I don't know man we gonna see um, but yeah man I just want to take you guys on that journey today man peep the fitting man I don't know if y'all been noticing man but 
I have declared myself the hat guy. So I love fitted caps. I've been collecting them, I think, since like about a year ago or so. Uh, but yeah, man, so, you know, I like to keep it fresh, man. I'm a stylish guy, man, so yeah. Hi. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just playing, man. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. But yeah, but back to the video, man. So yeah, so like I said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to see if we can go Sports Marine Warehouse. Go there, see if we can do a buy, sell, trade, whatever you want to do. And then, uh, like I said, I'm going to take you on the journey with me, guys. So you guys stay tuned. But in the meantime, what I need for y'all guys to do right now for me, man, please, outside the nation, I need for y'all to take your finger and beat the like button. I said, beat the like button. I need you to hit that like button. I need you to hit subscribe if you ain't already subscribed and share this page video, the link to my YouTube, please. I'm just trying to show up more in the algorithm the more y'all get me out there, the more content I'm going to bring you guys. So, without further ado, let's get this day started. Alrighty guys, outside of nation, man. Bro, we are back. So, of course, this is three days later, man. So, at last time I was talking in front of you guys, it was on Saturday. We had a grand plan of going to Sportsman Warehouse to check out their buy and sell program, things of that nature. So yeah, so we went to Sportsman Warehouse to check out their buy and sell program. It was successful, was able to get some money from uh, my Taurus TH9C. Like I said, I was ready to get rid of it. Um, obviously, I wasn't expecting a lot of money anyway because the value of that gun, obviously, you know, just don't hold that much value. But either way go, I was able to get a good sizable amount to be able to put towards a red dot so like I said man I told you guys I knew which red dot I wanted to go with and it was the hollow sun 407c and I looked up because when I went it actually was the green dot which I was really excited about because I have a stigmatism in my right eye so when I'm shooting when I'm looking at the red dot uh, the red dot already gives me like a crescent shape uh, moon and when I was at uh, Swartzman, I was looking at the green one. It actually didn't disfigure as much. I mean, it still wasn't a perfect dot, but it kind of was like, I mean, it had like a slight, you know, semicolon look to it. But either way, go, it was perfect. So I get it, I buy it, I apply the credits towards um, towards the uh, red dot after, you know, getting rid of the Taurus TH9C. So I'm looking at it, I and th and this this is crazy. So. This is a double-edged sword. Being anxious, anxious works good sometimes and bad sometimes. In this case, it worked good for me because as soon as I got in the car, I could not help myself but to take it out the box, look at it, things of this nature. So I'm examining it over and I'm looking at it and I'm like, hmm, these, the, the, the screw cutout looks a little bit wider than what it is that's on my slide. So, of course, I'm still sitting in the parking lot. I do the wise thing of saying, let me just test fit it on there just to try to see if how it's going to fit. Bro, when I tell y'all, when I tell y'all, let me tell you something. Let me tell you. I tried to put it on my slide and it did not fit. <laughs> Bro, when I tell y'all, I was so sad because i'm just like damn like the slide i ordered the tribe defense slide that i ordered from optics planning and this is another thing too y'all this is why reading is fundamental when i say reading is fundamental this is the exact reason why so i purchased the slide from optics planning and it on there it clearly says tribe defense sig p320 compact slide rmr rmr optic cut and it had a whole bunch of other stuff. That's all I read was just that part right there, the RMR cut. So I'm thinking, like, okay, cool. Any RMR footprint red dot will fit on this slide with no problem. Bro, tell me why. When I went back on the website and look at my order to see like um, what it said, it literally said all that RMR cut. And then right next to it in parentheses, it said Vortex Viper. So it had a, it so it was telling me that it was cut for a specific red dot 
a specific red dot, oh, y'all. Oh, damn. Oh, my it. camera almost at least. Sorry, y'all. I'm a little passionate, but it's just, I don't know. My screw up. So, literally had to go back inside the sports room warehouse, return it, wait to get a refund, and set out on a quest to find the correct red dot. And I went on Optics Planet and I almost, I almost did the dumbest thing ever. I almost ordered it from, well not the dumbest thing, but I almost ordered it from there. And I think it would have ran me like 250, 260 with tax and things in the nature. Something told me, look, check on Amazon. You are a Amazon legend. You shop on Amazon every week. Look on Amazon. Go to Amazon. Amazon had it for $40 cheaper. So. Yeah, so without further ado, the new addition to the SIG P320 red dot is going to be the this bad boy right here. <laughs> we got the Vortex Viper red dot. And this is it all in this glory, guys. What I can say before putting this on camera, I have already test fitted it just to make sure that it actually fits. And bro, it looks beautiful. But I'm going to show you some just a little packaging real quick, guys, for what comes in. Obviously, you get the book. Yay! <laughs> and you get uh, the red dot cover, the uh, optic plate if you want to mount it to an AR or a Picatinny rail. And then you have the red dot itself and then screws and a little uh, lock key tool they give you. Now upon first glance at this bag this 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 is a solid optic um that's really good quality i really oh boy i really like damn come on now camera you, you that bs today there we go i really like these um tactile buttons on the side to be able to adjust and dim the brightness of it um now so i have purchased other budget red dots in the past uh, with the ADE advanced optics spike and it doesn't have a um, feature to where you can you know adjust the brightness things in that nature my only gripe and my only complaint about this red dot so far obviously I haven't shot it yet in any nature literally just picked up the camera and decided to you know bring this to you guys the only thing I don't like is that the battery is mounted under the red dot. Now, I decided to put some electrical tape, which is like a little thin strip to kind of hold it down. Again, that's what I decided to do because what I've noticed is that once you try to mount this to your slide, and if you don't have anything that's kind of holding this in, it is going to come loose. So when I first had it mounted on there before doing this, the dot kept going off. That's because the battery wasn't secured. Even when I tightened it all the way down, it still wasn't right. So that's just like my only gripe complaint with this red dot thus far. That's the only con is that they put the battery location right up under the slide, which sucks also too because if and when your battery dies, you're literally going to have to unmount the red dot from your pistol and change the battery out. Now, I know most people might be like, man, that's really nothing. It's not going to take you long. But, you know, hey, you know, it's just, I don't know. I feel like it's unnecessary in my opinion. But that's neither here nor there. But, yeah, man, I just wanted to come to you guys and kind of tell you my guys, my whole fiasco in regards to getting the wrong red dot, almost ordering the red dot at a higher price, but then I'll find it on Amazon for way cheaper. So, yes, guys, this is the Vortex Viper red dot, man. And I'm super, super excited to get it. Uh, back on the pistol, like I said, I already put it on there just to test feed it, but I'm ready to actually get to the range and test it out, get it zeroed in and see how it goes, man. But yeah, man, I just wanted to come to you guys to bring this guys, bring this to you guys so you guys can see it. Like I said, I'm still a little sad, man, because I really wanted that hollow sun with that green dot, man. It was, man, it was, it was, it was pretty perfect. But like I said, Vortex really did their thing with this. Very, definitely high quality. Like I said, I am looking forward to, um, you know, testing it out and see where we go from there. But yeah, man, so pretty much, man, we almost done with the SIG P320 build, man. Like I literally have done everything to it that I wanted to do. Weapons light, 
uh, OptiCut slide, uh, red dot, grip module change. I got one, I actually got one more. I actually have one more um, upgrade that I'm gonna be doing this week as soon as it comes in. So you guys stay tuned for that. I will be, you know, letting you guys see that once we get that in. And the last and final thing I probably do to it is probably just gonna change out the trigger. So once I get the tr trigger changed out, I think I'm gonna be done with that build, man. I'm gonna be fully satisfied with it and I'm just gonna run it as I go. But you guys stay tuned, man, because we're about to transition back into going back to the range. So we have a lot of live action for you guys uh, with shooting. I am working on getting to an outdoor range. Um, there is one that's in the vicinity. Well, not vicinity, but it's like, I think, 50 miles from where I live. Um, so I definitely want to get out to the range to shoot outdoors um, to get a different feel, especially with about the warm up here in Tennessee as well. Uh, so you guys stay tuned for that, man. But yeah, man, I'm just excited, man. Um, like I said, I'm I'm really happy with how the build has turned out so far. Uh, that may be too, man. Once I get everything put it, put together on the firearm, I may do like a um, a second type of top review to kind of go over all the upgrades that I've done to it, and also to you know the price uh, breakdown and things of that nature. So I'm already cooking up some ideas on my next build. I already got my eye on another pistol, man, that I want to do. And I think on this next one, man, I think I may do a budget build. Show you guys how to effectively put together a fire as firearm to carry on a day-to-day -day basis but at a budget price uh so yeah so you guys stay tuned to that like i said um we're gonna be doing these uploads and i know my other video i said i'm gonna do my uploads every wednesday but i think i'm actually gonna stick to doing it every other wednesday so that way it just give me you know enough time to be able to you know get these videos in orders because like i said i do all the filming uh, well actually my girlfriend helps me film as well so appreciate that shout out to you baby um but uh yeah i did we do share the filming process but i do all the editing and things of the nature uh, so yeah just want to make sure i got enough time to get all the product i'm um, excuse me get i just want to make sure that i get everything put together properly and get out to you guys at the best quality as possible so yeah so that's all i got for you guys today in this video man but i appreciate you guys for watching uh, sticking with me this far um, like I said man if you already haven't done it man please hit that like button for me please subscribe if you haven't already and like I said man just share share with more people the more you guys share the more my channel starts showing up um, in the algorithm and then the more my um, my page will be visible to everybody so yeah man so that's all I got for you guys outside the nation <laughs> we out baby